So here we go, fun with Jaguars part five or six, I'm starting to lose count. Um, so anyway, um, you will have noticed from uh, the last video I posted, which is about uh, retrofitting the rear parking camera, um, one of the things I managed to get my hands on when I got a second-hand bumper was it came with the blind spot parking modules. Um, so um, what this one is about is obviously taking advantage of that fact um, and installing um, some wing mirrors that have got the blind spot in, which you can see it's that kind of um, squarey bit there. Um, I won't know whether any of these things work until we get the CCE, CCF file changed on the car, um, but certainly most of it looks fairly plug and play at the moment. Um, so the blind spot modules are actually in the rear bumper of the car just on the back corner here um, and the wiring loom that I've got um, takes care of those as well. Um, I actually have a pair of mirrors and I've actually got white caps on them as opposed to the red ones on my car so I have to swap those over. Um, but to get those out all you do is um, get behind the mirror um, and carefully pull it out. Um, that disengages the mirror off a kind of circular bracket that's on the back. Um, that gives you access, if I turn this one around, that gives you access um, to the clip point at the back here. Um, that clip point um, corresponds to that clip in the corner there. So what you have to do is get in from the back and kind of push that up and that releases the cap and then you can kind of um, clip it out from the front here. So mirror out, disengage the clip at the back, pull the cap back, um, usually by leveraging it off there. I kind of use my trim tools to do that, relatively relatively easy with those. Um, so that's about swapping them over. Um, I have done one side already, um, which is you can see this one, obviously it hasn't got its cap back on yet, but um, Basically it's a relatively simple thing to do. If you look at the mirror on the back here, you'll see there are three bolts um, and those bolts sit behind the tweeter here in the cover um, and they're relatively, their torques 30, relatively easy to get off. Um, it does involve taking the door card off, um, so the door card comes off relatively simple. There's one behind the clip panel here, which is a torque 20. There are a couple of torque 30s underneath the arm you can see one up there and then there's one further along um, by the bottom of the speaker down there there are a couple on the bottom and if you can see that there you go there are a couple on the bottom there that need to come out um, and there's one in a little panel um, round at the at the side here uh, which you can see there um, so basically it's unscrew all of those and you just pull the panel away from the door um, and that gives you easy access. You don't really have to unplug any wiring or anything. Uh, you can work. Uh, just be careful because the panel is slightly suspended off the door. Um, if you want to unclip the door mechanism that allows you to drop it cleanly uh, down onto the floor. Um, so I'm going to do the other side now. Um, and as I say, uh, putting back together, we shall see. <laughs> Might find out all of this was for nothing if I can't get the CCF file working. All right, thanks a lot. Bye.